Hello, Harvest Foursquare fam and um, other friends and people who are watching this on the on the sphere of social media, YouTube's, Facebook, whatever the stuff is. Um, I wanted to give a little quick devotional today. So it's December 21st. We're a few days from Christmas, so Merry Christmas. But it's also the winter solstice. And this is the moment where it's kind of like in the Northern Hemisphere, we are furthest away from the sun. And really, it's like the darkest day. And now from this point on, the days will get a little bit uh, longer and brighter until we get to the summer solstice. And it kind of goes back and forth. But a thought was just kind of in my mind a lot where this is the darkest day for the people in the Northern Hemisphere. Um, if you're in like Alaska, it's like dark 24-7 almost during this time. But even in the darkness of this world, and if we're away from the sun and all those things, we have this eternal promise of the light, of the greatest light, and that is Jesus, and that he has come to light up our path and to guide us to the pathway of peace. And there's this scripture I've been really reading through a couple of times um, in this last week. It's in Luke chapter 1, and it's at the very end in verses 76 through about 80, where Zechariah, he is um, the father of John the Baptist, and he is have this prophetic moment where he can speak now because he had lost his speech during the pregnancy and just these really interesting circumstances um, surrounding just God and just his will and stuff. But he speaks out and he says this about his son and then about Jesus, who is going to be born just a few months later um, by Mary. And he says this, And you, my little son, will be called the prophet of the Most High. This is John the Baptist will become the prophet of the Most High because you will prepare the way for the Lord. You will tell his people how to find salvation through forgiveness of their sins. Because of God's tender mercy, the morning light from heaven is about to break upon us. And I love that. They're in darkness. They're away. They are the furthest away from God that they can be. He's saying, man, we are like going to have the morning light break upon us. And now we're going to have the salvation that we have been hoping for and needed. And he says this in verse 79. So the morning light. From heaven is about to break upon us to give light to those who sit in darkness and in the shadow of death and to guide us to the path of peace. And that path of peace is the forgiveness of our sins and reconciliation back to the Father, back with God, to be in communion with Him. With, with him. That can only happen through Jesus. It can only happen through the life of Jesus, through His sacrifice, through His blood, through His resurrection. Only those things can restore that peace. So he is our guide. He is the one that we look to and run to and follow in this darkness. And so in this time of winter solstice where it's dark out and you like wake up, it's still dark in the morning. You are like coming home from work and it's dark and you're like, it's just dark. Um, it's this reminder that even if we are in darkness, we have this eternal light. We have this light that is everlasting that leads us on the pathway to peace. This is the true shepherd, the great shepherd, Jesus, who will guide us in the times where they are dark, in the times when they're not fun, in the times that are just overwhelmingly hard, where we are sitting in the shadow of death. Jesus comes alongside us. He guides us to the pathway of peace, back to the Father's heart, back to our relationship, back to where we are truly designed to be, and that is with God. So in this Christmas time, my heart is just to remind us that it's dark. It's, you know, it's crazy dark in the, northern, in the northern hemisphere. It's the winter solstice. But in that darkness, remind yourself that Jesus has come. He is the morning light. He has broken upon us. He has now gifted us with the truth that he will guide us on the pathway of peace. So I'm praying for you all. wish you a Merry Christmas. And uh, re just remind yourselves um, that Jesus has come to save us from our sins. And that is the beauty of Christmas, that there is salvation in the Prince of Peace and our Messiah, the Everlasting Father, in Jesus. Amen. All right, we'll see you guys soon. Um, harvest services are this Sunday morning, 8.30 and 10.30 a.m. And so we hope to see you there for our Christmas Eve services, and um, it'll be good. So we'll see you then. Bye.